Hello buddy, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be essentially remaking the Adfly video. Or not remaking, just doing it again because a lot has changed in the last four years. In fact, most notably, Adfly doesn't even exist anymore. Adfly, uh, if we can get past all of the terrible reviews, is now Link for Ties, which is a similar site, but they've made a couple of bold claims, most notably that there will be no more uh, misleading ads, which is an incredible claim. Do I believe it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Now, of course, why does Adfly have such a big problem and Link for Ties as well is it all comes down to something that's very important in digital marketing, which is called intent, which is ads are not all equal. An ad on a blog post about purchasing a car is worth a lot more than pretty much any other ad. And the least valuable ads to most advertisers are those in between a download page, because unless you're going to be misleading, there's very little incentive. The only thing that someone who is going to a download page wants is to download the thing they're trying to download. So as a result, legitimate advertisers are generally pretty uninterested, so you end up with uh, sketchy things. So let's see what we get. Okay, so they've actually, it's not just a link shortener, it actually does seem to come with a download. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look too... Hydrogen Gateway... Alceus Android Roblox exploit? Premier Roblox exploit. Ooh, Galaxy Swapper. Okay. Oh, okay, that's not even the ads. Okay, this is a new design. It's confusing because, okay, that probably was the real one. So we're going to go back to Mo Creatures. I'm going to try and download Mo Creatures. Oh, discrete hearing aid. So we have to, so do we have to actually agree to anything? Okay, let's skip this one. Oh my, okay. I see why people were upset about this. It's really hard to actually or get access into. Okay, so if we wait. Okay, so we can get, we can get through. So the ads do seem to be of a bit better quality. Okay, but here, of course, we've got all of our uh, different scam ads on Mediafire. We get PC App Store. Uh, this is a legitimate ad for a restaurant. And then we get, okay. Now, the, these, in my experience, they're not quite as bad as they used to be. Although this one is pretty bad. We got media fire, and then right above it, we got download. So let's see what we would get if we were to go through with this. So there's a Chrome extension called Securify. It's going to keep us safe from scams like Securify. So it's some sort of Chrome antivirus. I'm in court. Stop doing it. Kept changing it to Bing. It's kind of weird. I, I wouldn't think the Bing is paying out affiliates to these kind of things, but okay, let's see what Securify does. But we already did install it. Oh, and then it's going to try and get us to install a second Chrome extension. I don't, I genuinely don't understand what is supposed to be going on here, and I don't think anybody uh, using this, uh, oh, oh, this is, to, okay, this does, this genuinely, I, I do not understand what this Securify thing is doing, but okay. And uh, let's see what the PC App Store scam is doing as well. Uh, to be clear, when I say scam, I'm just saying my opinion in terms of where they're advertising for legal reasons. Okay, and we can install this one as well. Okay, and that just takes us to a website that says installing, which looks like a fake installer. Checking app horoscope? I'm going to guess, though, at worst, this is just going to be adware. Adjusting the flux capacity? Is this a joke? Okay, so this is something I've actually not seen on, just like on the desktop rather than on a Chrome extension. This is uh, just the classical thing known as adware, and everything on here is questionable. I don't know why iTunes, I'm guessing they should put that on here. Netflix, ESPN, PDF Editor X, and then McAfee, which is going to be paying them a nice juicy affiliate commission. HP Small, which I think only applies to HP computers, and then some other stuff. Episode, so it seems like maybe they're mixing in the ads. Episode Romance Club, that doesn't look like something. Yeah, it's like you got a few legitimate ads, it's like two truths and a lie. So it just then it redirects to the Microsoft Store, which of course it can't do on this VM because it's an LTSC build, but it doesn't matter anyways because it's not going to... 
Okay, let's try a different version of Moe Creatures, and let's see where this one goes. This is an old ad fly link that's just being converted to link for ties. Oh, new website text file. It doesn't even look like what we're looking for. And then these are these are ads. These are just kind of recommended. So it's not actually these I don't think are paying to be there. So link for ties has definitely definitely works quite differently than AdFly. We get another ad for this PC app store. But let's see if this thing they're pushing is a virus or if this is real. It's got interesting like to dislike. Okay, let's try downloading the Ho Ho Hub. Solve career paths to succeed in the business sector. That's the other thing you guys, these kind of hokey investment things. Okay. So we click learn more. Okay. Uh, well, yep, it's just a university or college. Okay, now we just get, so it seems like they're really trying to get us to pay. Someone on the Minecraft forums didn't even realize that you could download from this without paying, and I can understand how they would make that mistake. They're not making it easy. Uh. Oh, <laughs> okay, I don't think that's supposed to be rendered in the... Is it just a text file? Okay, well, load string, HTTP get. Okay, so I think we just go to this, which just, uh, okay. Okay, that's the weirdest. Okay, let's just go to GitHub and just, at least they've got a nice anime profile picture. I honestly would not pretend to know what this uh, repository is exactly doing, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's obviously malicious. Okay, let's see if we can. So let's look at some of the other, uh, similar types of sites. Oh, okay. Use search with security. Keep your current. Oh, that's sneaky. They're injecting this to make it look like uh, we want to keep the search that they've just put on. And there must be some sort of affiliate money because otherwise they wouldn't be promoting Bing. Actually, wait a second. Search with Securify. Let's just take a look at that site. This time it redirects to Google. Web. Okay, I think we need wire code. So let's turn on our wire code. Because something very weird is going on with this search that I didn't initially catch. Minecraft. Let's just search for Minecraft. Okay. Uh, so I think... Okay. So this is, this is quite... This is spyware. Uh, okay, this extension is... Okay. And this is seemingly being pulled from the Google internal API, but the query actually hits Bing. Okay, I do not like this design. I, I can't think of a reason why search with Securify is redirecting every single search you put in. And then we go to services. Okay, and these are just Bing. Okay, that's spooky. Okay, let's see what happens if we click a, a click a link. Does Securify get any more hit? Unfortunately, that's encrypted, which is also uh, something that I don't love to see. Yeah, that that's that is a uh, turbo yikes from me. It's possible this is the most roundabout way I have ever seen to send uh, some sort of security check, but. I, I would feel very comfortable assuming that whatever Securify is doing is sending every single website you visit uh, to their servers. Now, now we could try one other thing. We could try just typing some things just over to over to Wikipedia. Now it shouldn't be. Okay, no, no, no hits to them for that. But if we click over to the Wikipedia homepage, immediately we get another hit. And given it's a small amount of data, it's probably just a check. And the request, I am assuming, is contains the URL. But given how much data is on that, it's sending, it's sending, a, we, we could try reversing in a second. But okay, this extension is sending a lot. So I'm just going to disable these 
uh, for now, just take a look at some other extensions and other things we might get. Uh, if you download Optifine now, you go to a different link sharing site that works more like AdFly did called AdFocus. Now, AdFocus is basically a branded AdFly, and uh, at least in this case, this doesn't look too sketchy, but we'll try this a few more times. It seems like this is pretty much now just showing gaming ads, which is a massive improvement. So that's good news. And then we just have uh, what looks like an AdSense ad on this page, which is perfectly harmless. And these are just what look like uh, possibly not legit perfume, but nothing, nothing highly offensive. It seems like we're not get, getting a ton of diversity on the Mediafire ads. I could try turning on a VPN and changing the IP in a second. Uh, this one could be something new. Wave browser. Okay, this is something I've not seen before. You're almost done. Click the download in the top right to oh continue. Oh my. They're, they're even talking to me. Maybe the kind of people who fall for this need to be talked through it. Okay, and this is what looks like a pretty similar looking ripoff of Google Chrome. It's already uh, made a call to an ad server, which is a great start. I'm just going to temporarily turn off MITM proxy because MITM proxy doesn't mix well with big downloads. And I don't really care where they're downloading that from. That's not all that interesting. And here we go. So we've now got Wave Browser. Now let's just try going to Wikipedia. I always like Wikipedia as a test because it's a good way of seeing if you have adware because Wikipedia doesn't run ads. Oh my. Why am I getting... S okay, why IMG? Amazon ad system, ad server, ad server, ad server, ad server. Wow. Okay, we have this converter. So we've got a bunch of bloatware in this browser. Uh, and this is Yahoo Search, and it doesn't seem to be showing any Yahoo ads. And then it spawns... Oof, this is weird. Might That might actually be a Yahooism opening a new... I don't even know. Okay, maybe it's this page. It's, we are just getting spammed. I, I should drag this on the right screen. We're just getting spammed with ad servers, even with all of those pages closed. That page, it didn't look... Oh. Double click, G ads. Maybe that's from Yahoo because I'm not. I'm not seeing them. Just Google and see what we can find out about Wave Browser. Here's a sysadmin uh, Reddit post. Okay, so the scam is essentially that it redirects your searches to a bogus search engine, which pretends to be a privacy search engine that is actually using the Bing API and the Bing Ad Network. At it's called search hijacking, and essentially it's a form of ad fraud. It's similar to an old scam that you, I don't think it works anymore, where uh, they would set up an AdSense account, and they would use an extension to replace the publisher's AdSense ID with their AdSense ID. Luckily, thanks to a thing called ads.txt, they can't do that anymore, but they can still do this. There seems to be a, a, a Chinese company that has gone from making malicious extensions to making a completely uh, different browser. Okay, let's get a price tracker. This has a lot of features. Not useful features, but features. You can get a built-in WhatsApp client. Instagram, a stock track. Oh, that's just Yahoo Finance. Uh, talking about, okay. Ooh, this isn't, this isn't an API-based program. This is... Ooh, I, I don't like where this is get This looks like a phishing setup. Okay, well, let's just see what happens if we sign in with bogus credentials. Just looking for anything that isn't Google and logs. Yep, we're immediately hitting media.net, which is Bing. I'm just looking on the other tab. Uh, okay, we'll put in something fake. It has to be a real Google account, so then we will just put in my real Google account. Obviously not the password for it. So far, nothing obvious. These are all just ad networks, which I would question. Oh, Airtable.com stats bench. Airtable client, client event. And more hits to media.net, even though we can't see any ads on the screen, which almost makes me wonder if they're committing some sort of ad fraud. No obvious uh, hits, just looking at the network logs. So it's probably not key logging. Maybe it's session stealing or maybe... 
Maybe this is just doing something really weird. This is an embedded page that wants your messenger password. Although it looks like it is actually just iframing messenger. Let's see if anything happens when we put uh, fake credentials in there. Because I, I don't have an account on this. Okay, so we do get we do get the hit. This one is to the real uh, messenger. Okay, they they were encrypting that. They're they're coding that. Okay, and nothing that would obviously tell me that this has been sent anywhere it should not have gone, which I guess is good. Uh, oh, the okay. What are you doing? Oh, this is the PC App Store that we downloaded, and it's simply calling what is usually known as a tracking pixel. It is a one pixel image that would be invisible that is just collecting some basic information like our IP address and other things we probably didn't want them to have. And there's also a YouTube internal, okay, that's probably just from being on the page, an internal API call. It says Wave Browser is still running. So let's see uh, if those uh, Redditors are right that we can't easily get rid of Wave Browser. Some interesting requests here. A software updater, I think this is from the PC App Store, and then we get get a nice mix of the uninstaller loading, and then it's setting a cookie and tracking an event, which I guess uh, tracking uninstalls is a relatively normal thing, but not really surprising that dodgy software has telemetry. And this is just the... So it seems like we've gotten rid of that. Now let's see who claims to publish this PC App Store. Fast Corporation Limited, which probably doesn't exist. And if we go over to auto runs, we can see if there's any remnants of these software, which mostly would be considered pops. There's no obvious indication that they're doing anything hyper malicious. Okay, here's PC App Store Watchdog. What is the watchdog of this going to be doing? These are just remnants uh, from the other. Seems like everything that shouldn't be there is gone now. Let's just try a virus total on the... What? Okay, let's get rid of this uh, load of crap. Okay, now that we got rid of the infected hosts file, uh, let's see what virus total thinks about either of these. So PC App Store is just coming up as a pop by a few engines, and Wave Browser also is getting uh, a few pop hits. Which all seem about right. But very few engines are detecting these, despite the fact there's no good reason for this software, although it isn't highly malicious. So overall, then, the most malicious thing we got, and this is about the same as last time, if I remember right, was an extension that had some very concerning spyware function. And then we got a bunch of pops, which makes sense, because ultimately, the, the goal of any of this is to make money, and people looking to download software probably will want to download other software, so it's not. it kind of makes sense why installing that kind of adware would make sense. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and you can tell me if, if you have questions or anything you want to share in the comments. That's all for now. Bye.